Hello, this is Dr. Martin David Jones at Augusta University, and we're here to talk about ear training. Today's subject is secondary dominant. So I'm going to do uh, my presentation with a harmonic dictation. It'll be in the key of C major, and uh, my given notes are uh, C in the bass, G in the tenor, C in the alto, and E in the soprano. We'll have four quarter notes in the first measure, and a whole note in the second measure. Okay, uh, so uh, what I usually do with these dictations is I play um, the bass line, I accentuate the bass line first, and then I accentuate the soprano line, and then I accentuate the chord changes. All right, so let's begin. First we will tonicize C major. Accentuate the bass. Ready, begin. So what we do there is I will, um, you should pause it and listen to the bass line as many times as you need to really hear it. Now I will accentuate the soprano, which starts on me. So you would pause it and listen to that as many times as you need. Now I will accentuate the chord uh, quality. Ready, begin. Once again, you'd want to pause it and listen to that as many times as you need. Okay, now I'll do some teaching. Uh, we'll start out with the bass line again. I'm going to accentuate it one more time. So you would sing it back. First, we'll try it on a neutral syllable like La. La, 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 la. So, coming over to the um, to the dry erase board here. First thing you will notice there, la, 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 la. Did we end in the same place that we started? And the answer is yes. Therefore, it is not a modulation. Okay. So we know we ended on Do. And if you listen to the, the um, penultimate pitch, Do something, 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 Do something, Do. You should hear the Sol Do experience. So you would hear Sol Do. Okay, so we're starting to get it in, starting to fill it in. Now, let's get the uh, second bass note. Do goes down to what? Can you do a little scale in your mind? Do, T, La. Oh, it goes down to La. Do, La, what? Well, it goes up to Re, okay, which would be the note D. And if we look at the circle, you'll hear that A wants to go to D, wants to go to G, wants to go to C. A wants to go to D, which wants to go to G, which wants to go to C. So the bass line is indeed circular. Okay, now let's talk about the soprano. Here we're singing la 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 la. 
So sometimes it's good, I always recommend to students, if you hear any accidentals, maybe put an X by them. So la, la, la. That sounded kind of funny, a little out of the scale. So we're going to put an X there to remind ourselves of that. So me goes up to what? Well, if you think of this tonicization we talk about, do, mi, sol, mi, sol. You can hear the sol immediately. Mi, sol, something. That only went down a half step. So that's going to be what in our solfish? Mi, sol, fi. And we would write fi as an F sharp. Fi, fa, mi. So we'll end on the mi and we'll go to fa. So I'll put in the F there. But don't forget, we need the natural. You don't put the natural there, it's still an F sharp. Very important, both accidentals, very, very important. Okay, so we've got the bass, we've got the soprano. Now let's go for the chord quality. to it, you would hear major, you should hear the dominant seventh quality there, hello, 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 hello. oh, another dominant seventh, hello, 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 another dominant seventh, and then major, wow, so we had a lot of dominant sevenths. Well, if you thought this was major, it's going to be a one. Let's go through all these dominant sevenths. So we think this is a dominant seventh quality, and the pitch A wants to go to D. And what is D in our uh, scale here? It's the second degree of the scale. So it's a 5, 7 of 2. But instead of going to 2, we go to another dominant seventh chord. So we have this chain of dominant sevenths here, going through the circle, by the way. So D wants to go to G, and G is the fifth degree of the scale, so that's a five seven of five. Followed by G wants to go to C, so this would be five seven of one, but we just put five seven. So look at that. One, five seven of two, five seven of five, five seven, one. I will do the part writing for you. And you'll notice we need a C sharp because this is an A major chord with a G on top. I'm leaving out the fifth. I got to take that C sharp away, change it back to a C natural. This one I did not leave out the fifth. I have root, third, fifth, seventh for my D dominant seventh chord. And then for my uh, penultimate chord, I have, I left out the fifth again here, but I have uh, two roots, a third and a seventh. And then I will conclude with a proper tonic chord. Now I'll go out back to the piano one more time so you can listen to the whole experience. You can keep it on the dry erase there. So this is a pretty textbook example of a chain of dominant sevenths producing a secondary dominant experience here. We, 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 this piece actually had two secondary dominants in them, and they were in circle progression order. Uh, so that sort of concludes my, my talk here on secondary dominance. Dr. Jones, out.